I remember being two or three years old and watching a fish take that bobber under. As soon as I got a taste of what could happen, what could be on the other end of that line every time I went under, you don't know if it's something tiny or something giant, anything in between, I think that's what keeps me coming back every single time. Thank you, sir. You're the man. Every day is a different day, and so it's ex it's excitement every time you're out there. And all I can think about is where the next fish could be, and and how we're gonna possibly trick a fish into eating an artificial lure. We're driving through the damn Appalachian Mountains right now with fog and eagles, all this wildlife and everything else. And you see and hear so many things when you get out there, away from the city and out there in nature. Being from the city, it's uh, a lot of people that stay there their whole lives and don't get out and do things, and that's one of the things I preach more than anything is get get out get away from the screens out from behind the TV and everything enjoy the outdoors because you see some incredible things out there but I think the the moment you kind of live for is that moment between when that fish bites your bait and then it registers in your head that you have a bite I think that moment right there that split second in time your heart almost beats out of your chest in that moment and it, everything goes on in your between your heart and your body and your head and your hand-eye coordination that it's time to set the hook and how to set the hook and, and where to set the hook to to make it stick depending on what bait and what technique you're doing and everything but that, that moment right there in time is what i live for i didn't get into making videos to become a celebrity or a big youtube personality or something i, I make videos to get people out and doing something outside I get messages every single day, and it's my favorite thing ever that say, I watched something that you put out in your video, and I caught the biggest fish of my life. Or I wasn't into fishing, and I decided to get whatever tackle you recommended, and now I'm catching fish like I never thought I could. Things are finally starting to come to fruition, but it's been a lot of time and work expanding across a lot of different types of platforms. Of course, people are watching my videos on YouTube and stuff, but the way I'd like to have it is across every platform that people are digesting, especially as everything kind of evolves with the social media age and everything, whether that be podcasting or even like Alexa skills, stuff like that, um, stuff people aren't really talking about or doing these days, but easier ways to digest content, even if it's in really short doses to help teach more people how to fish. And then of course, one of my favorite things to do, developing new baits, developing new tackle, rods, reels, lures, that I'm gonna have direct impact on. That's just another thing to go along with, you know, putting out content that gets people into fishing is making baits and, and rods and reels that are gonna help people as well. You know, one thing I, I kind of pride myself on is I'm always showing people exactly what I'm throwing. I'm always showing them exactly the techniques. I think people have been programmed from watching tournament fishing um, to just thinking it's all a lie, that you're getting paid to sponsor or promote a product. And so these guys are just jumping from one company to the next saying each thing's the best thing ever. I've never done that before. I, I've always stayed true with the companies that I started with. And so my big thing is I love to spread actual, like factual knowledge of the exact thing I'm using. And there's no one out there that'll go fish a tournament and show the exact baits they're using, which is kind of crazy to me. We got a couple things in the works and some, some different products and stuff coming out that could not be more excited for. And then as far as getting my content out there across a lot of different platforms, it seems like every time I hit a milestone with subscribers or something, I feel like it just scratched the surface on all this. It's just a start. And while I'm like extremely proud of the foundation we've laid with everything, it's just it's just that, it's just a foundation. I feel like we've put a lot of content out on video form, but there's so much more we can do. And so I think as Millican Fishing kind of evolves um, as a brand, the, the biggest thing is gonna be all the different types of people I can reach um, and that we can reach as a brand that I'm so excited about. I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine.